everyone and welcome back to another live stream. Today we're going to play some more Guild Wars 2. Um, it's going to be fun. We're going to do Fractal. I'm going to do it with my guild. So far we are four people, so we actually still need one more. So if anyone is watching this stream right now and want to join us for doing Daily Fractals T1, feel free to leave down a message and I'll invite you. Welcome back to the stream, everyone in the chat. Kevin Nukin, Fix, hello, welcome to the stream. Hey, Russ. Russ saying, damn, what song is this? It's a song from my album, actually. Um, you can watch, you can listen to it directly on Spotify, iTunes, pretty much every music channel you can find. It uh, The artist channel is called Bitrate by Dvalin. So, and you can also use it for your content if you want. I have to say, I have to say, I didn't make the music. I was working together with four different artists, giving them my passion. I told them what kind of music I wanted, and then they made the exact pieces I wanted. So you can say I'm like a, that, that's like, what's it called? Ghost producing? Ghost production, I think it's called. I'm actually currently making a second album right now, which will probably release uh, the weekend, this weekend. Ignore Slothbox, because he's actually a producer himself, so he hates people like me who makes other people crazy music for me. <laughs> Creative director, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to join the voice channel with some ghost produ production. It's making the music for other people without taking credits. Yeah, and it's designed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, I am going to open up Spotify because we're going to listen to my album while we play. You know, I, I have to promote my own music. I only have three monthly listeners, so... I need more people listening to my music. The album is called Do Not Disturb. I thought it was a cool, cool album name. Okay, so I am going to join the voice channel with my guild. Uh, we are currently four people going to play together. Actually five. Oh, actually, we're only four people in the voice chat also. So I'm going to join the voice channel with them. And it's the people you see running around with me. So it's going to be fun. And still, you know, I'm still going to read the chat. I'm still going to stream as you know as i would do but uh we're gonna play with some cool guys okay i'm back say hi to the stream hi to the stream uh, there we go. can you say hi again hi again okay great i just said to your volume was high i don't know why oh but i just because i was I was yelling. You're so angry. <laughs> yeah, really <laughs> fucking bad <mad> today. <laughs> okay, so we're going for level five, which means <coughs> I have to search uh, tier one, level five, eighty reward. I'm just waiting for the last one to join. I should actually make a command in my chat so I could like put in explanation mark music and then it would like share my album. Yeah. Since now that Russ is asking about my album. Uh, Kamnikon, just going up in Fractals, that's nice. Yeah, definitely. We're going to do the dailies first, and then we're going to progress up in levels. What's up, boys? Hello, friend. Howdy. Uh, we can't go yet. We need um, the last guy. He has to come in. Yeah, sorry. That was me just jumping. I like to jump. I've got, like, gamer ADHD. Same. And that, that blue portal is just way too tempting not to jump into it. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Ah, there we go. Then it links the Spotify account now. Nice. Are you... Oh, he left. Like, Bard, do you want to join us? Uh, I'm in the middle of a fractal right now. Oh. Uh, uh. I'm gonna list again. Right, like just trying to, trying to push my fractal level as high as possible. No worries. We'll, we'll do that, but after we've done the two dailies. Because I just need two high levels, and then I can do the next daily again, and next daily again. There we go. Silver Knight have joined us. And he's from a German server. Uh, Russ, are fractions like Mythic Plus Keystone and WoW sort of? If you guys have played that, yeah, it's it's kind of the same. It gets harder and harder and harder. And then every day they shuffle around and give daily rewards. It's really, it's pretty cool. Rewards are actually pretty good too. That's actually what I like about the fractals, they're really good rewards. Yeah, when you get up in higher tiers, then it begins to get better. Yeah. We're still in tier 1, so the rewards are pretty shit. That's awesome, Guild Wars has endgame dungeons. Yeah, it's something that I also just found out, like... I didn't know about this too. We gotta start doing those raids as well. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I, we could probably do that like easy. I just have to create an event in that event room, so people have like one week notice fight. I haven't really looked into them much, but it's really important that we do them. They give gold and as well as like materials needed to get your uh, legend legendary stuff. So, uh, Crimson, since this is your first run, uh, this one is a pretty fun one. Uh, we have to, like, run with some wisp and deliver it to a tree in a time-based event. While a very big Viking guy, he's gonna try, like, knock us down and not delivering it. It's, it's very different from WoW Dungeons, where it's basically just kill the bosses. In these, it's all about mechanics. Now we just gotta start it. There we go. So you can see the map, there's like free Wisp. We need to go to those hands now on the map, ASAP, pick them up and deliver them. I got one now. No, oh, come on. Okay, oh, one delivered. Nice. Little bro, he has the second. We need to just the third one. 30 second, guys. Get up. Twenty seconds. Damn. Hey. That's good. I think last time we had to do like in two tries, right? But I also believe last time was like everyone has was like the first time we ever tried it. Uh Cameron Cross is saying I think the only fractal I dislike is the underwater one. All just rest is awesome. I agree. The water this one is, is super dying all the time. The water one is a that is a not is like super annoying, but at least it's very short. That's one good thing. It's very, it's very short. Hey, Rappy. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. 
Oh yeah, I'm Crimson. Remember to loot all the chests. They drop all the time. This one here we need to stand on this circle here before we can act, else we cannot kill the boss. So you can see like the green aura. We have to be inside this one. Now we have to go to the second one. Come over here, second. again. If I remember correctly, this is actually the last boss. Yeah, I think you might be right. Yeah, it's quite short. Yeah, and Crimson, not, not all of them is short. It, it's no. very various. Where did you... Like uh... that one with the hammer. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that one was... Uh, I like that one a lot, but got it's a time investment. Where did your brother go? Uh, he's... Um just like winding down for bed I think oh okay he's watching the stream and uh, chilling out yeah. Rabbi is asking um, how are you feeling today nice Thursday yeah I'm doing I'm doing pretty good you know it, it's been a good day uh, so yeah thanks for asking how, how's your day been Rabbi No idea. Well, what did you ask about? I was just unmuted. Reset. Just one year, uh, is there, yeah, a raid reset day. I want to get this week's done. That was Friday. Oh, Monday. Monday's the reset day on raids. I was only down one chest, right? Yeah. Right. Then we can do the next one, deep stone. Get any worthy loot?
walking by saying I'm gonna pretend I know what any of those rewards are. <laughs> it's so crimson every time you open one of those boxes and stuff like that just click on the deposit all materials so just put all the materials in your bank and um and all the other items you should you should salvage them so you should buy these salvage kits and then right click on the salvage kit and like say salvage all rare and salvage all master work uh follow me for two seconds let me just show you that quickly Come over here. This guy here. So you can see there's one called Master. Wait, is that the one Master one? You want the basic salvage kit, really? Yeah, but you want the basic salvage kit for, you know, green and blue, and then you want the Master one for um, uh, yellow. yellow, yeah. So, yeah, so you can buy, like, one master one, and then buy, like, one basic. And on the master one, you right-click and say, salvage all rares, which is the yellow ones. And on the basic one, you right-click right on the green one and say, all master work and lower. And then you get tons of materials, and again, you click on that deposit button, and then it goes to the bank. But what we all kind of hope we get in this is... Um, Ascended gear, which is like the, the purple gear you can see here. I have here uh, equipment. Yeah, like this. That's what we like. That's the basic gear in the game. Beside of legendary, but it has the same stats. Legendary can just change stats all the time. Can I just say that the copper fed salvage matic is probably one of the best microtransactions you could probably buy in this game? It just sits there in my shared inventory. And everyone can use it. What? Which one? Called Copper Fed Salvage Matic. Oh, so it costs three copper to use, but you don't have to worry about them um, buying salvage kits. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I got the rune one as well as the silver feed. It's super good to have those three. Yeah, I'm it's tempted to get the the silver one, um, but. I don't know if the silver's worth it because I don't use it that much, but the rune crafter is super worth it for sure. Yeah. I mean, if you can splurge, get the silver feed, but get the rune if you can first. Right. Okay. And then I would use that one on the uh, on the uh, masterwork gear. Um, Scribble. I'm playing human. Uh, as you can see, I'm a, I'm just human, basic human. Nothing, nothing more. Kamenog is saying. I would play with that. Kamenog is saying the cover and silver, cover fit and silver fit. Second best thing is infinite gathering tools. Oh yeah, I haven't done, I haven't bought any of these, but I'm really thinking about it. Uh, Rappi is saying, can you make a new video about the Tower Fantasy? I tried it today, but I'm sorry, but I I, I don't like the game. I, I really don't like the game. Um, I don't like the gameplay of it, so I'm probably gonna skip it. Upgrades versus twenty percent chance of rare materials, hundred percent. Oh right, yeah, okay. That sounds more. Yeah, you're right. That's better. That one is. Which which one is better? The Rune Crafters Salvage Matic. Oh, so you can get one that is better than what than you want have? Yeah, so that one is 600 gems and it gives you 20% chance of rarer materials and 100% chance of salvaging upgrades and it's 30 copper per use. Whereas the silver fed one, you get a you get 25% chance of rarer materials but only 80% chance of salvaging upgrades. So, and it costs 60 pego. Slightly cheaper though in terms of uh, gems. It's only five hundred. There's not a lot in it though. Is it on? It's on our utility right? Utilities, yeah. The other thing that is, I think, is a worthwhile purchase is the um, the tools. The you know the gathering tools. Yeah, that's what I'm buying next. Yeah, I, I couldn't afford like all of them, but I got the the uh, mining pick and um 
do not regret that. Yeah. They said that it goes on sale. You can get them all for like 27 crystal, 2700 crystal. Oh, all right. Thinking yeah, about cool. waiting for that, but yeah, I really yeah. love the tools. Tools are so good. It saves me so much space. And right now we've got like the sky scale versions of them, which look super cute. Oh, you get a little sky scale and it harvests for you. Oh, that is so cute. So, Kaminokan, if you plan on any get the Vault or Gathering tools, oh yeah, the 5% on silver is huge when you're salvaging 100 of gear. Yeah, so the silver here is saying 25% chance of rare materials, 80% chance of salvaging upgrades, and this one is 20% chance of rare materials, 100% chance of salvaging upgrades. So which one should I get, silver, fair, or runecraft? Again, which one did you say was best, runecraft or silver? Well, you probably want the copper-fed salvage matic to begin with. Um, and then the runecraft salvage matic after that one. Why not just start with yeah. the rune? Because it's 30 copper per go, so you, you just want to decide whether... You, like, if you're just salvaging garbage, you don't want to be spending 30 copper per salvage on it. Mm. You just want to be using your basic shit. Oh, we got a full crew. Uh, Kamenikan in my chat is saying he would always go for the silver one, but I guess if like if you have enough money, then it's fine. I mean, I went for all three because you know I want them all, but I don't use the silver fed as much. I only use that on the rare ones on the rare equipment. I mean, it doesn't seem worth it really. Like if you had to pick one of them, if you only had to pick one of them, then. You know, for like double the copper usage, you get a plus five percent chance at rarer materials. And um, why did I leave that? Why did and I come out? Minus outside? minus twenty percent. I don't know. Minus twenty percent um, on your what? What the hell? We've been defeat. The fuck. Rune crafter is pretty good though. I think it's super worth. Can yeah. Someone say what just happened. Not a clue. We all just insta died. Oh, I love this one. Oh, yeah, this is the one with the crazy flaws, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Crimson, you're gonna you're gonna love this one. Uh, Kaminuko, Kaminukan is saying that 5% change of getting globe of ectoplasma is worth it. Oh uh, yeah, if it's gonna give you more ectoplasma, you will gonna be rich selling it. So it's more worth it on the higher tier shit. Yeah, because then you can get more ectoplasma and each of the ectoplasma sells for like... It's like 50 silver or something? It's like insane. What's that, a glob of ectoplasm? Yeah. You can sell them for so much, right. but but you also need them if you want to buy um, uh, accessories, uh, uh, seller accessories. I just sold all of mine. Then I find out I need to be used to buy, and I bought all back. <laughs> you didn't sell instantly, did you? I uh, sell instant. Oh boy. I'm not they the type of person them. who want to wait for like getting my yeah, money. I, I I want my money now. To cut the market. Yeah. People yeah, super, you, super undercut. Like, you, you lose so much selling instantly. It's like, not like you need that gold immediately, well, actually, so you may as well, like, list it. Depends on the item. I need it. I guess so, yeah. Globs isn't too bad. You're only losing one silver per, at least. Two. Uh, Russ is asking, is Guild Wars 2 still getting updates? Yes, it is. It is getting a lot of updates. Soon we're gonna get a totally new way on how World vs. World is gonna be. We're probably also gonna get like updated rewards, so it's gonna be like even better to play. Um, very 
Sewa can soon play together in Borbos as well. Uh, we know we're still gonna get one more expansion for the game before they're gonna get release Guild Wars 3. So getting plenty of new skins, plenty of new updates. The game is like they just got a brand new management. Um, so everything is just going very, very, very well. Uh, Cameron couldn't say you need glow for ascended and accessories and legendaries, so it's always available. Uh, okay, so I should maybe stop selling them. I think I forgot to loot the chest that the, the, the spider. Oh. So what is this mistlock singularity? What do you mean? Like, would you... I've just like interacted with this mistlock singularity and it's like oh, now it, I've got it, a it, thing. It resets cooldowns. But I've got this notification saying you found a mistlock singularity. Train the mistlock singularity mastery in fractal attunement to use it. So is that in my Yeah, that's in your turn. Oh that's my Yeah, I gotcha. Right, okay, that makes sense. I can't do that now. I thought it was something that I could that I was not doing that I should be doing. Woohoo! I got supply line management now, so I'm getting closer to the auto loot. Hey! Oh god, it makes so much of a difference. You wouldn't think it would, but it does. So Crimson, here we have a spell, a new spell you can see on top of your health bar. You need to use it to attack, to deal damage to these monsters. It's like if they don't stand in that light, then you can't attack them. the gates. And here you need to use N all the time to oh shit I was just about to run down. It's like a puzzle. There we go. Hidden chest. Oh, well, well. Come back to me. We like loot. Deep stone pack. Oh, not bad. I wonder if you can get more than one chest from him. Everything you've got worth yourself. That just got you started is all. Maybe this is all a bad idea. I'd never forgive myself if something happened to you. We've come this far. We were our friends in the light of Melkor. We got a chance. Well, we've also got you. It the monsters they killed the bridges back. Oh, 
I like that ranger. You know, he has like a nature longbow, and then he's that, you know, spirit, uh, sorry, not spirit. Uh, Hold on, I'm just wall hacking. I think we've got to get to the corner, right? Yeah. That's how you do it. It's funny they haven't, like, fixed that bug, but maybe they're just like, uh, whatever. <laughs> what did you do? Just clip along the edge, or did you go through it? Uh, we clip. Yeah. It's like they forgot to move the shadow closer to when you fall down, so you can yeah. then, like run all the way up. Oh my god, it's a trap! It's a trap! Tomorrow, Blackout, you know, for the World, was World event. Yeah. Uh, Big Ma, Big, he's also joining us. Oh, nice. He, he likes World vs. World, and then when I told him, like, we can all play together, then he would like to join, because, you know, it's going to be pretty fun, since we're going to be, like, at least eight people. Mm. Just running around and destroying. Yeah, that'll be fun. So, did he find a chest? Oh, he found a chest. Chest. Hidden chest. So, Crimson, here you have to use your inner ability all the time because it's gonna hold the flow. If we don't use the inner ability, the flow is gonna go away and we die. Just every seven second, press M. Oh yeah, it's time to kill all the ads now before they reach him. Sets. Shit, I'm down. Ah, I'm falling down. <laughs> ah, jeez. What is the odds that I get knocked down and then the floor bar under me disappears? Mm. It's pretty shit because when that happens, you die like fully. Right. So if you, you're gonna get me up, it's gonna take you like at least 30 seconds. Right, right. So I'm not even sure if it's worth trying. Oh, 
Oh, it's actually going quite fast. As so long as this floor that we're on doesn't... <laughs> oh no, it goes slower. I love how I can control my golem while I'm doing this. <laughs> There you go, thank you. You're welcome. Uh oh, that's gonna be hurt now with all that is how he absorbed. Oh, does that increase his damage? Uh, if he absorbs, then he's gonna do like a big explosion. Uh, but it, okay. it, actually, it actually seems like we got them all. Oh, you got a skin? Spy Wait, so you got a skin? Uh, uh, Crimson wrote in the chat he got a skin. Oh, sweet. Hold on. Spy Master Jack, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Should I get End of Dragons? Please give me your personal opinion. So, um, I mean, End of Dragons is going to give you like a lot of cool end game missions. It's going to be able to give you like a new mount. Um, it's the story itself is really great. Um, also, you're going to get like a new talent tree, new spec and weapon for all the classes. So for example, for as a necromancer, you get Harbinger, which is basically shooting guns. And if you play engineering, you can like get this big robot. So I would say if you if you want to play Guild Wars 2, then I would say it's very worth it, worth, worth it. If you don't think you can enjoy it, maybe skip it. But I, I would say um, in my opinion, it's worth it. I haven't done the story yet, but I heard some people telling me how it is and it sounds like it's pretty fun and it has some really great end game um, strike missions which is kind of like a 10 man raid just easier it, it sounds fun but i'm excited to get started with it Woo. i've been trying to uh get as much as i can done every day Get higher and higher. Okay, so we, we're gonna do level 14 now, because now we're gonna push our levels so we can do, you know, higher levels. Crimson, um, when you go out to this board here, you can see that if you talk to it, you can see you have a personal fractal level. And that means if you play alone or with someone who has a lower level than you, then you can only play up to level 3. In my case, I have 14, which is the highest in our group, so you can see we can play up to 14. 14 is still going to increase your level, it's going to increase Blackout's level, and it's increasing my level. So we're all going to like get higher levels, and we want to go up to 16, because that's the next daily. And it's going to be like permanent, so it's going to work for your account. I mean, we don't need someone who can go to 16. Um, in this case, it's this guy here. He's actually high enough so we can go 16. Um, messed up. Bonkle. Can we go 16 instead? He actually has... Um, 16 so we could you do 16 through him is that for the is that give us the daily reward so yeah and because yeah. it's still a higher one it's still gonna unlock a well he, he doesn't answer so we're just gonna do 14 because they join for 14 and i know each of them has like collections and achievements so Right, okay. It's fine. We, we're we going to do this one. 
think this um, might be my last one, though. All right. Spy Mars, thanks for the recommendation. I was kind of hesitating because I didn't know if it was for or not. I would say Guild Wars is in a pretty good state. Oh, no, 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 no. No more water. <laughs> I actually hate water so much. Yeah, I need to set up my spells for it. There we go. Uh, Stall active build. There. Don't hit the bombs. You're gonna die instantly. Yeah. How do I know you're telling the truth? Oh, fuck. Didn't, didn't you, like, last time hit them? No, I said I didn't hit them. I think the last water one that I did, I got lost. I don't think I've done this one before, though. You might done with this one without you. Oh yeah, this is the one where you can dance with some kind of robots and then you get skill points. Oh. Uh, Kaminog is saying, End of Dragons have one of the best full map meta in the whole game. The new Elite specializations are really great too. Agree. I love Will Bender, super, super good. I kind, I, I kind of want to do like the End of Dragons um, expansion because I want to try those new strike missions. They s look super fun. Oh yeah, they're supposed to be pretty lucrative in gold too. I should get to doing that. I've been BSing a little bit. I spent most of the night yesterday doing the Zap legendary weapon mission, so I can get the precursor for for Bolt. What the fuck? I didn't get a hit. I call bullshit. Lies. I was stood in the middle of the freaking square. Now oh, that was my fault. Have to disable those. Don't tell me water is the bane of your existence. <laughs> yeah, can we go? Yeah, so yeah, go here to this one here and dance with it. Come down here. Do a slash dance at it, then you get mastery points. How do we tag? Do we have to target it? Can we tag no, it? No, just doing... slash dance. I didn't get anything because I've already done it. Mm, I don't seem to be getting anything. I do it for a while. And then also come upstairs because you also need to dance with this one. I think it is. I think it's because you need to like dance with both of them. Oh, okay. The one here, like in the. You get it this. Yeah. Camcon in chat is saying you get it in the second one. So dance with this one also. Yeah. Crimson, he just got it. Oh, yeah, nice. Well, that's super fun.
Yeah, I, I kind of assume like, like uh, for getting the fastest way this auto loot, I just basically need to unlock Cheria, you know, doing hearts, and then I get the levels. Oh yeah. All I did was like, um, you know, the Orange World events, the meta events. Orange World? Meta events, you know, where you've got like the, the, the orange circles with like the defend, attack, escort. Yeah, just like normal events around the world. Yeah, yeah, meta events. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I did. Yeah, I guess I could do that at the same time I'm unlocking hearts. Yeah. Uh, Spymaster saying, I'm actually excited because Avatar The Last Airbender is getting an MMORPG and I'm definitely gonna try it. Yeah, oh. it's supposed to be a lot like Genshin. Oh, that... I mean, see, Genshin has actually pretty good combat. Yeah. Yeah, as Crimson is probably saying, it's probably gonna have Gacha. Yeah. Gacha. Is it Gacha or Gacha? Gacha. G Gacha? Yeah, it is a Gacha. Okay. But still sounds cool at its last airbender. Yeah. I'll definitely be fire. This is a sterile research environment. Leave at once. Well, I mean, I get my information from TikTok, so it could be completely wrong. Very well. I hope so, because that sounds terrible. Yeah. I've never touched that crap. Yeah, that's how our fantasy new and would have released yesterday. It's not my cup of tea. Oh, I mean, I like the Airbender, but it's just like I feel like it has no substance. It's just gonna be a game built around siphoning as much money out of you as you can, and then screw mm. the rest. I mean, I like balance in my games. I like reasonable updates built around making content. I don't think those gotcha games actually goes in with the intention of making a game more than go in making a product it it actually seems like Genshin Impact is actually getting like quite a lot of updates all the time and like major my game is a single player game yeah eh, it's not my cup of tea I actually Just... value my money a little bit <laughs> Yeah, because when I use money in this game to like buy, you know, nice things and like things that are not going to make it easy for me, I feel like it's it's worth it. Well, not only that, but at least in Guild Wars, you actually don't really need to spend money to be at, like... If you're like semi-good at farming and efficient, you can reasonably get everything you need in engine. That's not really the case. Uh, Camera gonna say Genshin has pretty good combat, but any Gacha game is pay to win by default. True. Spy Master Jack is saying water is my element, cause when I was a kid I was crushing. I was crushing on Katara. Oh. Who's Katara? Do we have any Airbender fans in here? <laughs> Crimson is like, who's Katara? I know you did not just say that. <laughs> okay, I have to Google that. Katara. Oh, okay. funny I know, I know a friend who sent me uh, pictures of her saying he also has a had a crush on her but he, he's like you know plus 20 so I guess that's a bit creepy <laughs> yeah just a little bit <laughs> Ty Lee was mine it's Crimson saying Ty Lee Anyone want to do 16?
I could be wrong, but I feel like with the discounted keys, I made the, not the deeply discounted, but the second tier. I made a little bit of money. I don't think it was that much, but I think it was a little worth it. I'm not sure. Are we doing 16 here? Yeah, if you want to last daily before you go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it if we can get straight in. No waiting on me this time. I've got no boss in tomorrow, so I can uh, probably take a take it down a notch tomorrow. So. I have never done this one. I love these guys. They just remind me of Atrox from League of Legends. Just all of them. Oh, the, the big monster ones? No, no, the guy, the, the Awakened Soldiers. They remind you of Atrox. Yeah. But, I mean, Atrox is like a big demon. I know, but it's the head. Uh... Ah, yeah, okay, I, I see what you mean. Yes, yes, 100%. Looks like his pirate skin. Yeah, I, I agree with you. <laughs> Sp <laughs> Spy Master and Chad are saying, well, she is an adult by now, so. Cool. I'm not sure if anime characters like age. Is, I think they're like. No, in the film. Ah, oh, yeah, that, that, but that's the one that failed pretty hard, right? Uh, I mean, kids enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, I mean, more like a gross income. Yeah. So, we should really do raids before the reset. You get, like, two gold per boss. You get, like, exotic weapons, chance for ascended equipment. And then uh, provisioner tokens when you do the challenge version. Gives quite a bit of stuff and a lot of other like random stuff. Yeah, I've also heard it's one of the fastest way you get in legendaries. Yeah. Looks like it's ten players. So I've never been a part of a ten player raid. That'll be fun. Yeah, we just have to create an event and. Wait, Gloomy, is that? I think it's time to get raiding, boys. Time to play Guild Wars seriously. I mean, for the last like five or six years when I played Guild Wars, I just chain queue into world v world every day and just play for hours pretty much nothing else yeah i can't believe how much time i've actually spent playing guild wars and achieved so very little yeah still feel like a complete not a noob in this game same I did a total of one fractal in like seven oh, years. What the yeah, hell? I remember the group that I used to play with. We, we tried fractals once. We did. We did a good batch of them, but that was it. We never did them again. I always failed in fractals because we we always tried, you know, with uh, three people. We never tried five people. Yeah. I didn't know how to like get full groups. Uh, Kamenuken is actually saying in my chat here, raids are the only way to get legendary armor outside PvP. So of course we can get legendary armor through, you know, um, World vs. World. But we can also get it through raids. I think Crimson, Twilight, you're gonna raid? Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I mean, of course, if Blue Bams is gonna raid, then I'll be there. 
I could use some legendary armor. I'm getting close to finishing all my legendary weapons. With the armor now. Uh, you're getting shot by fire dwarven on the roofs. Ah, uh, okay, that was it. Ah, uh, no, no, no. That was unfair. What the hell? What the? F Is that like a part of the story? This? Mm, I think we're all dead. Yes, yeah, script it. Are we gonna get to respawn as zombies? Please, I want to be a zombie. Wait, aren't you a necromancer? That's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, they actually spawn. Oh, we got a spell. Blessed by the Omaji Joko in deep higher. Oh, that's a jumper spell. Well, I mean, a necromancer could be uh, under himself. Yeah, yeah, they they often are. When you look at like liches, they're not dead, are they? Who raises the necromancer? Catch twenty two in it. It's like which came first, the chicken or the egg? Supposed to be doing here. Uh, there's like these swords on the map we need to go up and kill. Ah, okay. Oh, but you have to use that jump ability. <clears throat> oh, they're saying here over there. Okay. This side first. Yeah. Dwalin, if you want yeah. to be a zombie, then I think you play too much Resident Evil. Well, I actually just watched the new TV series and it's pretty good. I'm sorry, Black Bart, I caught you off. Oh, no, I was just thinking about that. I think it takes longer to gear legendary armor to world your world than everything else. Oh yeah, it does. Twenty-two weeks. Yep. Kind of lame. Well, at least when you have it, then you can change stats all the time and send it to all your characters. I feel like it's harder to do world your world than a lot of the PVE stuff in this game. It takes the longest to get done. Oh yeah, I was. Armor. I was chatting with someone who like had full of it, and he was like, "You can do well as well. It's gonna take the most time, but it's gonna be the most easy way doing it." No way! I don't believe that for a second. But it, it is. I mean, you literally just have to run around and make sure your level six participant is active all the time. Get your tickets, and then you're done. But that's not even fun. Well, but yeah, that's because the point though, isn't it? It's, it's easy, it's simple to do. Exactly. That's why I say it's longer. Well, if you do it the other way, you need to like have a crafting brain. Crafting takes like 15 minutes to get yourself craft ready. And it takes like a couple of days to farm the stuff. So for some of the time gated stuff. And even that's like 30 days on a lot of things. Or less. I don't know. I wouldn't call Wellby World well easy here. Especially if you're playing it correctly.
Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh no. No, I just... No. Oh, cool. Get up there like that. Yeah, you have to like. It's a very um. You have to jump perfectly in the last one there. Oh the shit! Don't get back up there. This guy ain't pancakes. Just you can get a combination of each of them. That sounds kind of lame too. What? Well, I kind of want to get like a legendary set for. I mean. Uh, a Sunday set for my uh, PvP and I mean, not PvP, World be World and uh, like PvE. <laughs> well, I mean, one, once you get your full legendary Almo set, you don't need anything else. Yeah. Because you can just change stats on it all the time. Yeah, but that's going to take a long time. Not that long, but. Yeah. It's just like 30 seconds, then you have to switch it all around. Yeah, but it's annoying swapping infusions and uh... Yeah, but I, um, I'm pretty sure when you have it on Legendary, you can freely take them out and in. But I know, I, what wonder, you, I know what you mean. I wonder if you put in a second tab, it'll automatically switch everything for you. Like a second armor tab. That would if be you cool. can do it that way, then it'll be nice. Actually, Kamenokan, he's saying something here about it. Well, I think I have two legendary weapons, Twina Greatsword and Orange Spy Dagger. Both of them took around two months and a lot of gold to make. Yeah, I have Twilight. That one was <coughs> fairly okay to make. Bless you. Thank you. I'm, I'm mainly talking about the uh, the armors, not the weapons. The weapons are kind of like, yeah, pretty okay, I think. Even though... I will say it costs for the precursors is a little weird because it costs um, 269 gold to buy that and it takes 30 days of um, crafting the little mithril clumps to get enough to craft it and I can just do like I don't know like five days of farming and buy that we need to refine that system a little bit, make it a little shorter to uh, get those uh, clumps. Um, hey Gideon, welcome to stream. He's actually saying there is gear tabs, but yeah, we, we know there's gear tabs, Gideon, but can you have the same legendary in the different gear tabs with the different infusions and stats so it remembers it? That's kind of what we want to know. have it automatically swap to those things as long as the materials are in your inventory or something I guess. He's saying yes. Oh thank god. So yeah, you, you, that, you actually you just need that legendary. Oh okay, kill fast good. fast 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 fast. Uh, I don't think we make it. Well we can, of course we can do it now. Oh someone's right by that. Oh, what I was close. Uh, 
uh, Kamen Kone is saying the weapon chain stats and sigils if you put in a different gear tab. I know because I play Kondi and the power virtues. Yes, you can. Okay. Yeah, so double confirm. Looking at chat and avoiding this is not easy. to go up here now. Blackout, well, why have you muted? Coughing, sneezing. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, she has the same skin as me now. It's pretty cool all these guards we are fighting right now that they actually been selling those skins in the shop. Except the green one, the tree one. I haven't seen that skin. But if they sold it, I would definitely buy it. Oh yeah, Balthazar. See, that skin, I got that one also. I'm like super excited to see on the 23 August, which, you know, things we're gonna celebrate, but because, you know, the game is turning 10 years. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, so the rumor says that it's gonna release the Steam version, and who knows, maybe we're gonna have like 30%, 60, 100%, you know, 50 cents discount on stuff in the shop. This shit deals a lot of damage. I have literally, yeah, I was just about to say it, I have no HP back. Well, I mean, isn't Sunspear the good guys and we basically the bad guys right now? Uh, so you guys know the drill. At least 50% discount on expansion is expected. Oh, then Crimson, he's gonna get mad when he finds out that if he waited a few days, he could get 50%. <laughs> but yeah, we don't know for sure. But if he haven't waited, he wouldn't be able to play with us right now. That's true. What's my personal level now? It's 16. Nice. Blackout, you done, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. More fun's tomorrow nights. Oh yeah, we're gonna do World vs. World. Yeah. Can... Did you already close the game or can I make you leave the party? I'm gonna leave it, don't worry. Yeah, because kicking people is so insanely dumb. I know, right? It's like everyone vote on the person who's logged off the game. Exactly. Quicker to just cancel the party and remake it. That's true. Tier 1, level 20, daily reward. Let's do it. Oh, well, 
guess we can open up boxes then. Ooh, a glob of ectoplasm. So we say these are worth a few a few golds, are they? A few a few coppers, I mean. Yeah, but you want to save them if you want to buy um like uh, trinkets accessories from laurels. Uh, what is it? A currency? You, well, no, it's not a currency. It's actually crafting materials, but you still need them for buying um, ascended gear. Okay. I don't think I've ever sold any of them ever. Cool, I, I just got like a item which is gonna give me a recipe for like creating a torch. Well, that guy just left, which means we ha ha. That increased my personal level to um, 16, which means we forced to do 16, which sucks because that's the one we just did. Do you guys need someone to get you to a higher fractal level? I can help. Nah, we probably uh, stopping doing fractals. Okay. I might gonna do some world versus world. Wait, so this guy, he already started in number 20. And we can still join and come in. Yeah, you can do that. Oh, I think he's soloing the last boss. But how, how the hell do I get out of him? No, we've never done this one. It's like a very big octopus. <laughs> but he's pretty much soloing this shit because he's a he got two hundred agony resistance and he's a mech engineer. Balance class. <laughs> How do you mean the most OP shit in the game? <laughs> no, not shit. Because I like to have them in the group. Oh yeah. You're very welcome, Blacko. Wait, Blacko is an engineer? Yeah. Exactly. You like it. I know, right? Disgusting Blacko. No shame. Hey, that was my first character that I made. I, I do not feel guilty in any way, shape, or form. It's not his <laughs> fault that the balance team doesn't know how to balance a game. Well, I hope they buff everyone else rather than nerfing. Because I'm quite happy just like sitting there chilling. Letting the mech do all the work. Ooh, I've got 69 globs of ectoplasm in my material storage. When you get the red skull above your head, 
we get a crystal on the ground and f uh okay Coming for you. Oh, he came up himself. When you get a red skull above you, get a crystal on the ground and throw back at the bus. The new guild member actually invited Ellie. Oh. Oh shit, I need... I need my chest. So this one is like a really, really fast one. It's literally you go in and kill the Arbus. The crystal protects from his laser so you can throw it back on him. Oh. oh okay now my personal level is seventeen. Which means I have done all tier one dailies. Woohoo Tomorrow. Sleep well. Night. Good night. So we'll just send it. Huntsman, Huntsman, Huntsman. Darling, thanks for the runs. I'll set up Mike tomorrow, probably. Torch, yeah, definitely, but um, 
I'm just thinking about which if I should wait picking one, you know, and then wait till I actually know which one I need maybe in the future, instead of picking the wrong one. Um, I'm I wanna play uh, Reaper as main. What I do now, power reaver. So I'm, I'm not gonna use a torch. Torch are good for condition bells. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, torch is for scorch, yeah. So I'll, I'll just save this one. Uh, then I can always unlock it another time. So... How many chests do I have? I have 10 chests. So we want... 10... Chests. Consume all. Use all. Damn. Gave me all my gold back. Love it. I play Heal Scourge too. It's nice. Like, how, how good is the healing? Is it like okay healing or is it like bad healing yo I'm back what's up well it's only you and me were you talking to me because I had my headphone muted oh no no I'm talking to chat oh okay oh my freaking god I just bought like 10 of those keys and then I just got five for free because of something I did oh did you open the box because sometimes they give you keys might be that. Damn, you got five from ten? It's pretty good. Can I not salvage exotic items? Yeah, but I usually ex use the uh, Black Lions one. But I have like one called Mystic Salvage. Oh, there we go. Oh, I have to manually select it. Oh, yeah, I got. This uh, ectoplasma. I'm going to say it's one of the most OP heal in the game, almost infinite res. You can salvage the... Yeah, okay, yeah, I saw that. Well, that sounds pretty cool playing Necromancer as healer, but I enjoy the twin sword. Uh... Is there any other fractal groups going on right now? Fractals. Allow you to purchase the portable provisioner from any VV outfit that this ally item allow you to purchase siege weapons blueprints from anywhere. Mm. Battle mall deals increased damage to enemies who are downed. Your war claw gain an extra stamina bar. 
I'll mount it to the Grand Navy Allies ability as a run at claw. Unlock a second skill that allows you more further to detect enemies. Unlock a third skill that allows you to follow. Unlock four skills that enemy is from hmm. Crystal Desert. Black Power, do you know, like, those hero points you can complete in uh, Crystal Path? The Path of Fire expansion? You know, the hero challenge yeah. points? Um, yeah. It says on them you can keep doing them for extra challenge points, uh, well, extra rewards. I don't know about that. Okay, I'm just gonna do one and see what kind of rewards it gives. Uh, coming again saying I'm still to max my walklaw. Oh, I don't play my. What was? Well, we we gonna we play quite. I play quite a lot, and tomorrow we're gonna play with the guild because um, it's the alliance beta. sky. Oh, that's really bad for wards. Are you guys in Europe? Yeah, you're in Europe. So if you play in Europe, you're very welcome to join our guild. Sorry, but I will make a new account to play on Euro with Steam Launch. Ah, that's cool. Yeah, because Blackbird we have here with me and the voice right now, he's actually from NA, but you know, he plays on Europe. And Blackbird, it, it isn't that bad, is it? Um, I haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary. I mean, I, I play at 140 MS thing, but it's not, I haven't seen anything. I mean, PvE is more than fine. You may notice it a little bit in PvP, but I think it's inconsequential to most fights. I don't where where do you actually see your MS? You can go into uh oh, press escape, go into options and at the bottom right there. So your ping says one hundred and forty? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's quite a difference compared to what I have. Would you have like thirty? Yeah, thirty. 
I mean, it's just 100 milliseconds, it's fine. It's kind of inconsequential. Especially with my build, I just blow you up in one hit anyway. Yeah, and you're so good at the game, so it's like, it's, you know, it's, it, it, you deserve having this penalty. <laughs> I'm okay, like, I can beat the average player in World v. World, but if it comes against, like, the good, good players, they absolutely destroy me. I was dueling with some of the people from each, like, everyone from a bunch of the different factions we all just teamed up the other day. We all, like, you know, it was neutral, we didn't fight each other, and we all joined the party, and we just dueled, and all those guys, they were, like, super full legendary, or pretty much full legendary, doped out, and I couldn't touch any of them. But not because of their gear, because they're, like, really good, as well as geared, and, mm. like, I almost killed one of them, but the rest, it just clapped me. So, the top tier players, absolutely, I cannot touch. At least not yet. Kamenikin is saying, I play from SA and I get 140 on NA, but I think nothing over 200 must be too bad. Where's, yeah. What's what's SA? Is it South America? South America, yeah. So if, if... Oh shit, what happened? So if he played on Europe, I guess it would be even worse. Or would it be the same as you? Uh, probably worse, since he's much further away. Uh, Spy Master Jack, you, you just open up the server list when you log out to your character and then in the top right corner of the server list you can select between Europe and US. You can transfer from US to Europe, but yeah, as Blackbart is saying, you, you're gonna get some penalty with the uh, MS. Blackbart, I think you should, you should just maybe move to Europe. No thanks. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind living in like maybe uh, UK. I wouldn't mind uh, Germany, maybe. Maybe the Netherlands as well. I don't know. Uh, I can't. I don't, I don't know too much about Europe. I mean, like Germany is a nice country, but I wouldn't recommend it for an English speaker because you still meet a lot of people in Germany who doesn't speak Eng English. Where, here, where if you go to the, oh, you you have the problem in the US too. Yeah, I mean I live in Texas, so. Ah, oh, okay. So Mexico and a lot of Spanish speakers. I mean it's not a big deal, but we do have a fair amount of different language speakers, but majority speak English here. Yeah. Man, Necromancer looks so fun. What do you mean you're looking at my stream? Yeah. That's why I made a necromancer, because I was going to play a power necromancer. You know, I have the great sword, and it has like the black coming off of it. It looks really nice with the necromancer. Yeah. I am not getting what I want. Oh, did you upgrade your bags recently? Looks like you got a bunch of 18 slots. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six bags with the starter pack, and all of them is like 18, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. I like having one invisible bag so I can put all my gear in there. But honestly, I should just use the second tab. I forgot there was a second tab. Second tab? Yeah, uh, armor slot tab. So I've been keeping my rings just in my inventory. Uh, I yeah. have like 20 ascendant rings. Well, I'm, I'm about to salvage like half of them. But... Yeah, that, that's what I do. Like all my second gear is not in my bag because it's on the tab. I love that it's not showing it in, in the back. It's so good. Kamenukin, he said he, I would move to Ireland because of the booze. <laughs> That could be an option too. Uh, 
what am I gonna do in like one of the night? If anyone does transfer to uh, EU, just know you can't actually do you can't get credit for wall versus wall, at least just claim skirmish tickets until the second Friday that you're there. So I would transfer on a Friday, and then by the next Friday you can start earning points. Kind of sucks because like that's why I've been a little reluctant on doing world versus world because I'm not getting that much benefit. Mm -hmm. How long did it take you to unlock the uh, the flying mount? I only have the griffin actually. Um, if you do it like all the stuff you have to do, you can get in in like a seven days. Seven days! Oh my god. Yeah, but it's you're not gonna do you're not gonna play like seven days totally. You're just gonna like you know do a few hours every day. Um, but it's because all the things you do, like feeding and all the things you have to do for the dragon, you need is like time gated. So you oh, can do you can do like some of it, and then it's like stop. Now you have to wait to, for tomorrow. Yeah, those are the two words I didn't want to hear. Time gated. Damn. Yep. <laughs> it sucks. But at least once you get the mount, it's like, oh. yeah. I may get it. It's really convenient when you're doing um, uh, meta meta runs, flying around to the uh, gold chest guys. Bounty guys are really good. But I'm gonna try these strike things. Let me actually watch a video before going in. Kaminukin is saying, I'm gonna be sad to start over the, again, though. I have all tunes maxed, a shared slot, a ton of utilities, two legendaries, and a ton of ascended gear. Also, all mounts. I mean, I mean, no one is. You don't have to start over. You can just keep playing on your account you already have. Why don't he just transfer over? I don't understand. It costs like 500 gems. You can just come over. I. I might think it's because he don't want you know the the 200 ms since he's an SA. Well, the thing is, in order to play with the with them, it's like. You only need 500 gems to come to the NA ser I mean the EU server, and then it's going to be combining soon, if I'm not mistaken. So I wouldn't. I mean, I came over to play with these guys in World be World with the Dolvin, Dolvin, but uh, you don't necessarily have to. You just want to do like the PVE stuff with everyone. This server, unfortunately, the one that we play on. Norse Fever's Peak is a 1800 gems, but yeah. Uh, Kamenoken, you, you, you can't... Wait, Blackbard, is the price depending on how many currencies you have, or just account-wise? It's based on the server that you transfer to. Oh yeah, how popular it is. Population of the server. And how expensive so was it for you? Well, this, for this one, it was 1800, but for one of the lower ones, it's like 500. But I mean, it's, he has, according to him, he has it, like a lot of stuff, so it may as well. No, it's not per, per tune, it's just the account. Yeah, once you move, you move. You can't play on both. Yeah, once they've released the Guild Alliance, then servers don't matter. But keep in mind on Friday, it's just one week test. So after that test, they're going back to the normal again. And probably fixing some codes and bugs and yeah. Oh, is there like a group right now going on for world bosses? World bosses. Oh yeah, thank you. And where are they? Oh, 
Oh, and that doesn't really help when they like split it across the entire map. One hundred and forty-four gold to transfer to a base uh, EU server. Not that much gold, if you want to not spend any actual cash. Yeah, you you can transfer back to any. Um, it's just gonna cost you gems again. So if like if you play with us for one month, and then you're like, oh my god, this these guys are the worst in the world, and then you want to be like move back, then you can do that. That would be slander, but yes. <laughs> yeah, you can come back to NA if you want. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, maybe you. Yeah. The MS is gonna be so bad for him, and so he's like, but. Why don't you just make make a new account? Oh yeah, yeah. Try yeah. it on Europe, and then see what the ping is. And if it's too bad, then don't transfer. That's true. Like test it out. If it's way worse, I don't want to be stuck. Yeah, do do as Blackbird is saying. Create create a new account, test it, see how it is. Plus, I mean, most of the time, like, ever since, like, 2010, if you had the bad ping, you're always in the advantage anyway. Like, back in the day, if you had bad ping, you were at a disadvantage. Now, it's like, if you have bad ping, you're in the advantage. So, I'm sure you'll be zipping all over the map, killing everyone before they can see you anyway. So. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for the Steam launch because it's easier to buy stuff on Steam if I decide to stay. Is it because it's cheaper for you on Steam? Because I know Steam is having that um, regional price, but it, it kind of helps with currencies. to world boss timer uh, bum, 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 bum. which one is the next bus uh fire elemental is actually live right now i'm gonna go see He's probably up there where everyone else is. Yo, I still have things on the market from two years ago. December the 13th, 2020, and it's still there.
How do you remove personal um, marks? Personal waypoints. No clue. I never set one before. This guy looks pretty cool. Oh, he just changed armor. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. I like that he can change the color. On the... Just got a uh, spear worth fifteen gold. Say that. Say that again. Oh, so I just got a spear worth fifteen gold. Mm. to see if there's any wings in the shop that I can change color on. I want to make like a um, heavy armor assassin like look for my character if I can. Armored assassin. Mm. Cause uh... <clears throat> Will Bender is very like assassin, like it's kind of like a thief, basically. Kind of cool. It's so annoying, like all the bank things you can buy here basically can change color you can change color on them except the one I have bought from the shop you cannot change the color on those this one here you can change the color to what about these wings Oh my god, huge angel wings. It's kind of too big. I think I'm gonna buy the one called Orin Wing Pack. Or should I get a water dragon? Oh, what the fuck? There he is. The big bad warp file and it's on. Spy Master Jack said, I made an elementalist and named him Avatar Jack. He's on the world. So does Kevin. Is that on Europe or is that US? I saw this guy in World vs. World. He was playing this melee elementalist. It was really sick. He had um, all 
you know the gear that has the every single stat he had all his gear pieces with that and he was just like super tanky he was super mobile he had good really good damage he was just like almost unkillable as elementals and he was playing like melee it was kind of sick do you remember the guy uh, the girl we played with yesterday amber yeah she she was doing the same oh that's interesting she Isn't also said, yeah she said it was like a, a east mode build it's called it's called celestial you know the items that has all the stats that's the celestial she recommended me also to get it like she was like saying if you want no brain build uh, you know east east build then go celestial And I mean, it, it would be yeah. easy because you can use that basically for every spec. Um, well, all I know is when that guy fought in World World, he would kill like three people and walk out at full health and not care. He was like, God, dear. It was just him and me walking around killing like five people. As two. Cameron Kun in the chat says he's a uh, Celestial Gear. Must be a viewer, so he played that viewer build. I'm, I'm literally respecting people who play viewer because they have so many spells. Like every time they change element, the two elements they last time, you know, if, you, if you're in water and you go into fire, then some of your spells become steam because you know water and fire basically become steam. And if you're in rock and go to thunder, then some of your spells become like thunder and rock. So normally, you know, they have like 20 spells because of the four different stances. But with the Weaver, they have like, I don't know, 30 or something like that. And if people can manage that, I'm like, respect. Invoker players. Thanks. Invoker? What do you mean? <laughs> it's a donut thing. Well, what is an invoke? Mm -hmm. I, I can't remember. He's the guy that uses... Uh, he uses multiple spells and then he'll do a combination of orbs and he'll get multiple spells. Mm. It's basically a invoker. It's kind of cool. That sounds really fun. I mean, I have it. I think I have an elementalist as well, level 80. Let's see. I have an elementalist, a ranger, a thief, a warrior, and a uh, guardian, level 80. But watching him play elementalist was like dope. Just doing crazy stuff. Plus full celestial. Cool. What is saying? Yeah, and Viva uses sword as main weapon. It's mostly melee. If it has the orbs, it's a catalyst. Catalyst. Hmm. Weapon skins. Okay, so I need a glider skin. I need um should I go Orin? Maybe Orin. I'm gonna watch some celestial uh, weavers. Do some world v world video clips. Are you thinking about rolling it? No, but I would like to watch him play. So I know how to fight them. Oh, it looks dope though, the class. I'm, I'm so heavily invested in heavy armor that swapping to light would be too much. Wow. 
This class is sick. Yeah, I wouldn't have be tough like this guy. He's sick. It's so dope because you're like dropping lightning strikes and fire everywhere. It's like a melee mage. So cool. Check out a celestial uh, will bender, but yeah, you weren't joking. Swapping between so many different uh, powers that's so cool. His HP is good too. These guys have a built-in skill that gives them a ton of evade. That's kind of crazy. You get full Celestial as default from using the level 80 boost. Oh. As an elementalist? Because I didn't get that as a... Oh wait, I probably did, I can't, I just couldn't remember. Yeah, you get a full set of Celestial. I think it's exotic or rare, I'm not sure. I don't remember. But definitely got a full Celestial set. <laughs> Man, that elementalist looked dope. Necromancer, Great Sword Roma. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, they use Zap as well. That's why I want to go with. I want to go with two Zaps on my uh, Will Bender build. I mean bolts. Uh, Spy Master, you're saying you're playing on Dark Heaven. Dark Heaven, Dark Heaven, Dark Heaven. Yeah, it looks like that's not a Europe server, that's a US. Yeah, that's a US. Oh, so both of you, you're playing Dark Heaven, that's fun coincidence.
So what if we change my... This build is sick. This build does zero damage. I don't know if Celestial Willbender is any good. Uh, Spy Master Jack, I'm on. I am on the server called. Far Shiver's Peak. Yeah, yeah. Far Shiver Peaks. It's only very high, but if it became full, you couldn't transfer there. But it's it's Europe and Far Shiver Peaks. But keep in mind, if you remove, if you move from NA to Europe and you live in NA, you're going to get a bit additional latency. But as Black Bar is saying, it's not because you feel it like that big. So Black Bar, I'm going to leave you now. I'm just going to say goodbye to the stream and then I'm going to get sleep and I'll see you tomorrow on the World vs. World event. Yes, sir. You have a good night. You too. See you. So, what if I just make a new tune? You would need to create a new account. You can play on different servers at the same time. Um, you you would have to create a new account or do the big move. But everyone who's watching right now, I can see we only three people. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate both you uh, coming again, coming new again, and Spy Master for being active in my chat. Really appreciate it. It always makes it ten times more fun to stream. Uh, so I'll see you probably tomorrow because we're going to do the very big World vs. World event, um, where it's going to be this alliance thing. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be real fun. So maybe I'll see you tomorrow when we're going to do World vs. World. We're probably going to run around with eight people from the guild and smashing stuff so it's gonna be fun so good night spy master good night communicant see you another time peace out